Thursday. One, two, three. John Denver and his puppet pals turn the great outdoors upside down. Mosquitoes aren't bad. Not bad. They're delicious. It's all for fun. It's all new. A Rocky Mountain holiday. We didn't get much sleep. So glad to see you. Hey, old pal, my life's been kind of crazy. I'm ready to be lazy hanging around with you. Well, even in the very, very worst of times, there's one thing I know. The way to guarantee a little peace of mind is a walk in the woods, a friend by your side. And, and here, here we go. go. Hey, old pal, it's great to be here with ya. The thing I'd like to give you is a real good time. Hey, old pal, I really can't believe it. But now that you can see it, it looks just fine. What a chance to play and sing and have some fun. The day should never end. This will be a Rocky Mountain holiday. With you and me. And all we can see. And all of our friends. Hey, old pal, we must be daydreaming. At least the things we're seeing are a dream come true. Hey there, gang, it's great to be together. It just keeps getting better, I can promise you. This is going to be the very best of times. And we will make it so. No more hustle and bustle and no more telephone lines. And now that we're here, let's grab all our gear and off we go. Hey, John, this is a terrific campsite. Fozzie, this isn't the campsite. Huh? This is the what? parking lot. Well, well, where's what? the campsite? Well, it's about seven miles that way. Oh, OK, Come guys, there. let's start unloading the truck. Oh, oh no, oh, OK, get the refrigerator, dude. Refrigerator? Yeah, I have to put my truck on somewhere, OK? Welcome to a Rocky Mountain holiday with John Denver. And the Muppets. I got my gear in my pack. I got my pack on my back. Today's the day I'm going camping. Just got the go ahead sign. The weather's gonna be fine. Today's the day I'm going camping. I'm gonna pitch me a tent, won't have to pay any rent. It looks like everything is A-OK. -okay. As far as I can see, I think it's gonna be a perfect camping day. Isn't this a life, Kermit? Yep. The mountains are so beautiful, the oh, air yeah. is fresh. Mm -hmm. Mosquitoes aren't bad. Not bad, they're delicious. Oh, yeah. Trees and animals and clear blue skies. A waterfall comes tumbling right before my eyes. Birds that fly above a mountain stream. It's absolutely perfect, better than a dream. Peace and quiet where the good Lord smiles. Fields and fields of flowers growing wild. Where I belong, my mother nature's child. Oh, it's good to be back in a bear's ancestral home. The peaks, the trees, the sky. Ha! Oh, I love getting close to the earth. Whoa! Can't get much closer than that. Ha 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 ha. It's time to hit the trail, to hit a hill and dale. Oh, I love hiking in the mountains. It's great to reach the snow and see the world below. Oh, I love hiking in the mountains. Each time we stop to eat, 
we get to rest our feet. We'll make it if we take it slow. Cause the best way to climb is one step at a time. And hiking is the only way to go. Oh, wow. Like, I can't believe that anything so groovy could be, like, so groovy and not have a beach. <laughs> yeah, who'd ever think that anything this far out could be, like, this far out? Oh, I got my gear in my pack. I got my pack on my back. Today's the day I'm going right. Just got to go ahead and sign. The weather's gonna be fine. Today's the day I'm going back. I'm gonna Like everything is okay. As far as I can see, I think it's gonna be a perfect Mother Nature's child. I've read the Frog Scout manual cover to cover, John. I'm gonna be a big help. I know you are, Robin. And listen, I gotta hand it to all you guys. I mean, after the mess back at the parking lot, I can't believe how neat and tidy all your knapsacks are. Well, it's all in the planning, John. We made a list, then we packed the bare essentials. Then we gave the rest to Animal. Well, Fozzie, you better keep your eyeballs peeled. These woods are full of bears. Bears? Gonzo, just to laugh. Have you not noticed that I also am of the Ursine persuasion? <clears throat> Ursine? What does that mean? It means I'm a bear, too, and I speak fluent bearish. <laughs> Hi. I... <laughs> Gonzo! Somehow I don't think she understood his bearish. Gonzo! Gonzo! It's just a slight dialect problem. Ah, <laughs> oh, come in! What do you mean, Fozzie? Uh, 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 she speaks grizzly. Ah! Uh, and I only speak Paddington. Ah! What's happening now? Are the big angry bears about two furlongs behind the fat boring bear? And closing. Give you seven to five on big angry. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see him? No. I cannot tell you how unpleasant that was. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, how much further is it? It's about two miles, Jana says the crow flies. Yeah, how far is it as the dog walks? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Hmm? You guys hear anything? All right, if you want to visit our way, if you want to wander the trails for a day, oh, yeah. don't forget. There's somebody here. <gasps> Do us all a favor. We don't need your beer cans. Take your candy wrappers, heavy metal blasters, motorcycles revving all day. Hey! If you want to visit our way, <laughs> wrap them up and take them away. Ripping tracks in a white wonderland, no. I can love a chainsaw, I swear. Uh -huh. But bring it out here, you get a chainsaw do well. Take your candy wrappers, heavy metal blasters, motorcycles revving all day. Hey, if you want to visit our, our way, way, we say, wrap them up and take them.
Wow, here we are, huh? Look at that. Hey, uh, well, gang, wow. here we are at the campsite. Whoa, look at that. Mm, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I've wanted to get you guys up in the Rockies for a long time. This makes me real happy. Yeah, just one thing, John. How's the television reception up here? What? What do you want a television for when you got gorgeous scenery like that? Yeah. Besides, what are you going to plug it into? No problem. I brought a 16-mile extension cord. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got a lot of work to do. Now, Kermit, why don't you organize the troops and make camp? Okay. And Floyd, you and me are going fishing. Yeah. Okay, everybody, prepare to unpack your tents. Right you are, sir. Okay. Hey, John, look, look, aren't these terrific worms for your fishing? Fozzie, those worms are snakes. These worms are snakes. These worms are snakes! Ah! <laughs> I guess he doesn't speak snakeish very well either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, time to pitch tents. <laughs> pitch tent! Pitch tent! Uh, uh. Animal. Tent go bye bye. <laughs> Sign up on your door. I'm gone fishing. I ain't working anymore. There's a hole out in the sun where you left a row half done. I said, hoeing ain't no fun. You ain't got no ambition. Gone fishing in a shady, weighty pool. Gone fishing, man, you really play it cool. We don't wish to be annoyed, Mr. John. Mr. Floyd. We're fishing instead of just a wishing. We're fishing. Instead of just a wishing, oh yeah. Mm. Well, John, that's my limit. See you back at the camp. All right, Floyd. <laughs> okay, uh, do we have any volunteers to get firewood? Hey, no problem, Kermit. Animal, ah. fetch firewood. Fetch firewood! Firewood frog. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's perfect, animal. In case we want to barbecue a dinosaur. <laughs> I remember chopping firewood when I was a lad. Uh, I bet you remember barbecuing dinosaurs, too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> barbecuing dinosaurs? Yes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> hey, come in. How about a little touch football, huh? Uh, Fuzzy, yeah. that's not a football. That's a wasp nest. It's a wasp. <laughs> I guess Fuzzy doesn't speak waspish, either. <laughs> Frog Scout Robin reporting, sir. Well, what's up, Frog Scout, Robin? Well, gee, John, Frog Scouts are supposed to be helpful, and you haven't even given me a job to do. That's because I've been saving a job that's perfect for a Frog Scout. Really? Really. You know, Robin, everybody's going to have some wet clothes and towels, so I'd like you to string up a clothesline for me. Why well, know all the knots in a Frog Scout manual. Well, then you're the perfect guy to do that. You've got it, sir. I'm going to be a big help. You'll see. All right, Robin, you get that done. I'll get these fish cleaned. Yes, sir. Okay, well, guys, I think we did pretty well. You know, the tents are all up, and uh, John caught some fish for dinner, and we've got a nice place to build a fire. Ah! Any minute now, gang, and the old bear will have a roaring fire started. Aha! There, see? My paws are on fire. My paws are on fire? Help! Help! Oh, boy. Look at her, Smokey the Bear. Huh. Anyway, once we get a campfire, we'll have all the comforts of home. Ha! That wasn't enough for Miss Piggy. 
Hey, remember Miss P here last winter? <laughs> She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yoo-hoo! She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yoo-hoo! She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Yoo-hoo! She'll be scolding her hairstylist when she comes. Will you please? She'll be scolding her hairstylist when she comes. Will you please? She'll be scolding her hairstylist with some language that's the vilest. She'll be scolding her hairstylist when she comes. Will you please? Yoo-hoo! She'll be followed by her fan club when she comes. Hey, Miss Piggy! She'll be followed by her fan club when she comes. Hey, Miss Piggy! She'll be followed by her fan club and the local Superman club. She'll be followed by her fan club when she comes. Hey, Miss Piggy! Will you please? Yoo-hoo! She'll be towing her string section when she comes. section while they play her pet selection. She'll be towing her string section when she comes. More violin! Yeah, Miss Piggy, will you please? Yoo-hoo! She'll be hounded by the Thunderbirds when she comes. Say cheese! She'll be hounded by the Thunderbirds when she comes. Say cheese! She'll be hounded by the photographers, secretaries, and stenographers. She'll be hounded by the photographers when she comes. Say cheese! More violin! Yeah, Miss Piggy, will you please? Robin, what is this? It's the clothesline, John. I, I strung it up and tied it off just like you told me. Not 10 inches off the ground, Robin. I almost broke my neck. But that's as high as I can reach. Oh, holy moly. I can't do anything right. Hey, pal. You know who really messed up? Me. I expect you to tie that line seven feet high. Well, well, I can't help it if I'm little. I know. And there's nothing wrong with being little. You want to know what I tell my own kids about that? I guess so. Do you remember days not so very long ago? When the world was run by people twice your size And the days were full of laughter The nights were full of stars And when you grew tired, you could close your eyes Yes, the stars were there for wishing The wind was there for kites The morning sun was there for rise and shine Even if the sniffles kept you home from school and bed you couldn't hardly stay there at the time And I wonder if the smell of morning's faded What happened to the robin song that sparkled in the sky Where's all the water gone that tumbled down the stream Will I ever catch another butterfly Do you remember campouts right in your own backyard Wondering how aeroplanes could fly And the hours spent just playing with the funny rock you found With crystal specks as blue as all the sky And I wonder if the smell of morning's faded What happened to the robin song that sparkled in the sky Where's all the water gone that tumbled down the stream Will I ever catch now I watch my son, he's playing with his toys He's happy, I give him all I can But I can't help feeling just a little tingly inside When I hear him say he wants to 
wonder if the smell of morning's faded. What happened to the robin song that sparkled in the sky? Where's all the water gone that tumbled down the stream? Will I ever catch another butterfly? Will I ever catch another butterfly? Come on, pal. Let's go have some dinner. But I still can't tie the clothesline up high enough. Hey, I got an idea. Now look, I'm tall enough to reach the clothesline, but I'm terrible with knots. Now you're a little short, but you're a whiz at tying knots. You get my drift? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, Statler, I don't know why I ever let you talk me into coming into these mountains anyway. What? You don't remember why we were here? No. Well, after we bought that toothpick factory, we had to come out here to buy a tree. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's one. Where's John? Oh, here he comes. He went to get his guitar. Hey, Rolf. Hmm? You remember last summer when you were in the inner tube in the river and uh, I was singing this song? Uh, I'd like to forget it. <laughs> Saturdays and holidays, easy afternoons, lazy days and sunny days, with nothing much to do. Rainy days are better days, for hanging out inside. Grainy days and city ways, make me want to hide someplace cool and green. Shady. Find yourself a piece of grassy ground Lay down, close your eyes Find yourself, maybe lose yourself While your free spirit flies <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Hey, you want us to throw you a line? No. Can you touch the bottom there? Nope, but Gonzo can. Quick! <laughs> Call that incredible! <laughs> <laughs> and then Kermit and I had to wait out and pull out the survivors. And ruined everything. I was going for a world's record. World's record at what? Standing on the bottom of a lake with a dog on your head. <laughs> what? Hey, Fozzie, uh, what's that cheap cologne you're wearing? Yeah, I haven't smelled anything like that since I was stationed in Marseille. Oh, th that's not me. Th that's this letter here that Miss Piggy asked me to give to John. What, uh, uh Miss Piggy sent you a letter? Well, yeah, I guess so. Huh. What does it say? Uh, golly, Kermit, I'm not sure. Can you read it? Uh, sure. Let's see. It says, uh, uh, dearest Johnny, simply devastated I couldn't be with you in Colorado again. Again? Well, she must be talking about when she was here last October. Last October? Why, she was visiting her sick aunt in Toledo. She must have had a busy October. W what else does it say? Uh, let's see, it says, uh, looking forward to seeing Vu again soonest. Love and kisses, Piggy Poo. Piggy Poo? <clears throat> Does it say anything else? It says, uh, please don't mention this letter to Kermit. I won't. All right, John, l l what is this letter all about? Kermit, perfectly innocent. Now, she was yeah. out visiting some friends last October, and one day I took her for a horseback ride. Yeah. We had a wonderful time. That's not what the horse said. <laughs> I'll be 
betrayals to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling on to them. Who cares about the clouds when we're together? Just sing a song and bring the sunny weather. Happy trails to you Till we meet again <coughs> Rolf, was that a hiccup? No, no it wasn't. In no way was that a... <coughs> You know, this is my favorite time of the evening, gang, sitting around a campfire like this and telling stories, singing songs. In fact, I wrote a song exactly about this. Oh, sing it for us, please, John. Yeah. You bet. You know I love the trail I'm on and the friends who ride with me. The country that we're passing through is a paradise to see. A haven for my spirit, the homeland of my dreams. My heart flies through the wilderness and on an eagle's wing. And though I love the water, snow-capped peaks both proud and tall through forests deep and green the highway of the mountains the lifeblood of the land I can hear my mother speak to me and hold my father's hand Durango Mountain Caballero, take me for a ride On the backbone of this mighty land The continental divide To the place where earth and heaven meet The mountains and the sky The heart of Colorado the circle that I'm in, the stories and the laughter, they should never, ever end, forever in my memory, forever in my song, on a San Juan mountain trail ride, I'll carry Nice. Kind of goes with the setting, doesn't it, huh? Yeah. I love it. <laughs> home, home of the range Where the deer and the antelope play where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. How often at night, when the heavens are bright, with the light of the glittering stars, have I stood there amazed and asked as I gazed 
Jesus, the glory exceeds that of ours. Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discourse. Show me a home where the buffalo roam. Yes, and I'll show you a dirty house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Down by the old Not the new but the old stream. Not the river but the stream. Where I first Not second, but first. met you. With your eyes. Not your nose but your eyes. So Not green but blue. Dressed in gingham blue. Not one but you. It was there. Not here but there. Not old but new That you loved me true Not old but true You were sixteen, not seventeen, sixteen Not the king but the queen Not the old Not the old Not the old Not the river but the stream Yeah, yeah, that was great Great, you guys What a bunch Are you sleepy, Robin? You want to go to bed? Oh, no, Uncle Kermit, I'm wide awake Did you hear that? What? 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 Oh, I thought I heard it for a minute, but I, it must have been nothing. Well, I heard what? What, what? what did you hear? What? Well, I thought I heard the giant man-eating chicken. The, the, the giant man-eating chicken? Well, what is it? Tell us about it. Yeah. What, what, what? Well, years ago, there was an old prospector living in this valley. Mm -hmm. And one winter, when the night started getting extremely cold, uh -huh. he wanted to make his sleeping bag warmer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he snuck down valley to a chicken farm, got inside the chicken house, and when this one huge female chicken was walking by, uh -huh. he reached out, grabbed a handful of feathers, and jerked him out of that chicken and ran like crazy back up here to his cabin, stuffed him in his sleeping bag, made it a lot warmer. That chicken was furious and swore that as long as she lived and even after she died, she'd walk these woods sniffing out people that had chicken feathers in their sleeping bags and take revenge. Uh, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, well, well, what kind of revenge? I don't think you want to know, Fozzie. Oh, please, oh, yes, yes, please, yes, please yes. tell us. Well, the ghost of this giant man-eating chicken, uh -huh. no offense, walks these woods at night. And sometimes, when you're asleep, you can hear the sound of footsteps on the dry leaves and twigs. <laughs> and you can hear this chicken sniff in the air. And it'll get closer and closer until it sounds like it's right on top of you. And then this giant, man-eating chicken will open its huge jaws with that savage beak right down by your head and say, <laughs> Speaking of chicken feathers, Kermit, let's hear it. One, two, three, four. When I was a little bitty tad, just up off the floor, we used to go down to Grandma's house every month and or so. Have chicken pie and country ham and homemade butter on the bread. But the best darn thing about Grandma's house was a great big feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide and soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of 411 geese, took a hole for the cloth for the dick. It had hold eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy we stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. After supper, we'd sit around the fire, the old folks spit and chew. Pa would talk about the farm and the war, and Granny'd sing a ballad or two. I'd sit and listen and watch the fire till the cobwebs filled my head. And the next thing I'd know, I'd wake up in the morning in the middle of the old feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide and soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of 411 geese, took a home on the wall for the tick. 
Did a whole eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy they stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Well, I love my ma, I love my pa, I love Granny and Grandpa too. I've been fishing with my uncle, I wrestled with my cousin, I even kissed Aunt Lou. But if I ever had to make a choice, I guess it ought to be said that I'd trade them all, plus a gal down the road for Grandma's feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide and soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of forty loving geese, took a home on a cloth on a dick. It had whole eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy we stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. <laughs> Gonzo, what are you so dooted up for? Oh, I'm gonna go out and get a date with that man-eating chicken you told us about. She sounds terrific. Gonzo, there's no such thing as a man-eating chicken. That was a story. Ha! Well, that's what I thought until I found this. Why, that looks like a giant chicken feather. Oh, oh what? Ah. A giant ah. chicken feather? Ah. I I don't believe Now, wait a minute, madam. You're making a big mistake. Hey, wait up, gorgeous. No, Gonzo, it's dangerous out there. Not for me, it isn't. That's just a man-eating chicken. It doesn't eat whatever I am. Where'd you go, beautiful? Do you come here often? What's your sign? I've heard the Rockies were romantic, but this is ridiculous. John, oh. what happened? I cannot tell you how unpleasant that was. John, are you okay? Uh, how'd you escape from the man-eating chicken? Yeah. Well, it was touch and go there for a while, Fozzie, but I introduced her to a gigantic man-eating rooster. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, that whole bit was a gigantic man-eating turkey to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how lovely is the evening, is the evening. Oh, how lovely is the evening, is the evening. When how loves are sweetly ringing, sweetly ringing. Betty by time for little frogs. I've been lately thinking about my lifetime. All the things I've done, how it's been. I can't help believing in my I know I'm gonna hate to see it end I've seen a lot of sunshine Slept out in the rain Spent a night or two all on my own I've known my lady's pleasures Had myself some friends Spent a time or two in my own home I have to say it now It's been a good life all in all It's really fine to have a chance to hang around Lie there by the fire And watch evening tide While all my friends 
my old lady sit and watch the sun go down and talk of poems and prayers and promises and things that we believe in how sweet it is to love someone how right it is to care how long it's been since yesterday what about tomorrow what about our dreams and all the memories we share uncle kermit yes robin there aren't any chicken feathers in my sleeping bag are there uh no robin promise mm -hmm. promise <laughs> Days they pass so quickly now, nights are seldom long. Time around me whispers when it's cold. The changes somehow frighten me, still I have to smile. It turns me on to think of growing old. I have to say it now, it's been a good life, all in all, it's really fine to have a chance to hang around, lie there by the fire and watch the evening tide, while all my friends and my old lady sit and watch the world. Talk of poems and prayers and promises and things, things that, we that we believe in. How sweet it is to love someone, how right it is to care, how long it's been since yesterday. What about tomorrow? What about our dreams and all the memories we share? guys will excuse me for a minute. I'm going to go say goodnight to my old pal Robin. Hey pal, you asleep? No. John. Yeah, Robin. Was I a help today? Oh, you were terrific. You know, and I'm going to need a lot more help tomorrow, so I... I want you to get some rest tonight. Yes, sir. <sighs> I like your eyes. I like your nose. I like your mouth. Your ears, your hands, your toes. I like your face. It's really you. I like the things you say and do There's not a single soul that sees the skies The way you see them through your eyes And aren't you glad You should be glad there's no one, no one exactly like you.
night, you guys. Good night, John. Good night, folks. Good night, John. Good night, John. Good night, Kermit. Good night, John. Sleep well. You too, partner.